A big night in Missouri last night for Republican delegates. The GOP held a do-over caucus in Missouri last night after the original one in St. Charles, Missouri came completely unraveled. Ben is following up on what happened only weeks after his report in a reality check. Reply all. Well, for months, Reality Check has been the only news source intensely following the delegate process from state to state. And while most other media don't seem to really understand that process, here we are committed to explaining it and for calling for transparency and fairness in the process. A couple weeks ago, Reality Check was the only news source in the nation to show you how the GOP in Missouri, under the leadership of Eugene Dokes, attempted to railroad the St. Charles County Caucus. Dokes and the Rules Committee elected a caucus chairman without accepting nominations from the floor, against the rules. Created a rule that no video could be taken of the event without voting on a Rules Committee, also against the rules, and eventually ended the caucus without two-thirds majority, again against the rules. Well, that sent the entire event into chaos. Here's a clip from the reality check three weeks ago. Under the Missouri GOP Chairman's Guide, the chairman cannot adjourn the meeting without two-thirds support of the assembly. Also, according to the rules, the Delegate Selection Caucus must take place at the same location where it was advertised in writing 15 days prior. That location was the high school. Are we going to let the St. Charles County Central Committee railroad all of us? No! No! no. Nope. Let's stand our ground and have a caucus right here. And that's what they did. Brent Stafford, along with one of the top parliamentarians in the state of Missouri, they decided to reconvene the caucus right there in the parking lot. We have to have a roster. We have to turn in a roster. Okay? So, right now, we have to be quick about it. And we're going to need to, if you got a piece of paper or percolate it, you've got to get everybody saved. Give it to me. Give it also. You yes, should have a number on your bracelet. Write it next to your name. Okay. Name, address, and, and your bracelet number. Do we email it? Do you want a stamp? Yes. Yeah. 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 Don't get a stamp before, before the SWAT team comes. Before the SWAT team comes, he said. And police did come. Within minutes, Brent Stafford was arrested. I talked with Brent via Skype about his arrest. They took me away from the crowd. Uh, and uh, handcuffed me and uh, started walking me uh, towards their uh, police cars and their paddy wagon. Uh, request um, for uh, you know, answers of if, if I'm being arrested or detained, and what, are, what am I being charged with, we're met with answers, but we'll tell you later. In the end, the cops charged Stafford with trespassing. Well, now the update. After Reality Check called out the Missouri GOP for this disaster of a delegate caucus, as did some Missouri talk radio shows, the GOP decided to give that caucus a do-over. It was held last night, and the scene, much more calm. Video was taken freely, and the nominations from the floor for the caucus chairman were also taken. The vote, Stafford, 480. For Mr. Cole, 402. Mr. Stafford is the chairman. That's right, Brent Stafford, the man arrested by St. Charles, Missouri police for trespassing at the last caucus while trying to conduct a peaceful caucus, the one we interviewed here, was elected from the floor as the chairman for last night's St. Charles, Missouri caucus. In addition, the meeting went off without a hitch and 152 delegates were elected to go on to the district and state conventions. So here's what you need to know. Not everyone's going to be happy with the outcome of this caucus, and that's understandable. Certainly not the folks who attempted to railroad it the last time, because in a radio interview shortly after, Eugene Dokes admitted that he was trying to prevent Ron Paul supporters from winning those delegate seats. Unfortunately for Mr. Dokes, they did. Those 152 delegates from last night, I'm told, all of them Paul supporters. But in the end, the real winner here wasn't any candidate. It was the voter who became engaged in the process and had their voice fairly heard. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard in the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX. Well, coming up, how swaddling your 